The Roanoke City Council will host a public hearing Monday for a proposed shakeup on the Greenway. Starting July 1st, e-bikes are allowed on Greenways by state law unless local leaders have good enough reasons to prohibit them. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us how these bikes work and the controversy they've been broiling in. In the world of bikes, there's a trend that's impossible to ignore. Downshift bike shop owner Stephen Ambrose says these are the future. A lot of people still don't understand what e-bikes are, and that is actually quite honestly part of the problem with their prohibition. E-bikes have motors to give riders an extra boost. The most popular models only work while pedaling and cap out at 20 miles per hour. But they're a dirty word of sorts in some communities like here in Roanoke. Well, what ultimately forced our hand was some legislation passed by the state. Michael Clark is the city's Parks and Rec director. Wow. Buried on the city's website, you'll see that e-bikes are banned from greenways, but a new state law allows them by right unless local governments hold hearings and decide otherwise. I like the approach that council has taken in soliciting um, citizen input um, because I, I am anxious to see what, what the general public has to say about it. The Parks and Recreation Advisory Board has recommended the city follow state law. On Monday night, council will take feedback and be on the clock to decide. A full prohibition to full allowance to, um, you know, with partial allowances based on classes or types of trails, anything in between. I mean, there, there are so many different options that we could land on here. The opposition falls in two main camps, bicycle purists and those concerned with speed, which isn't exclusive to e-bikes. Ambrose hopes the city finally makes the greenways equitable for all. I think it's a great position for Roanoke to be in right now to act as the leader in the cycling community. I mean, they have been given the opportunity to uh, say that e-bikes are welcome here and that we are truly a destination for people who are cycling enthusiasts. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. This plan pertains to e-bikes only. That means electric scooters like Lime and Bolt are still not allowed on the Greenway.